Hi, it's Lisa again from MyCleverWallet.com, and I am super, super excited because Pin Pinterest has a brand new website set up, and it is gorgeous. I really, really, really love the new setup. It is so easy to use, really intuitive. Uh, I logged into my account yesterday just to check in and make sure my pins were scheduled and everything was good to go. And I was just really delighted to see the new setup and how easy it was to use because when I first saw it, I'm like, okay, great, it looks nice, but how different is it going to be? And it is a perfect setup. So um, I just wanted to create this little video to show you guys how to use it if you're getting a little confused. Um, and, um, and I'll just go from there. So... Uh, so super excited. I'm up to 1,465 followers before Pin Pinterest. I had a big fat zero followers because I was a brand new blogger. Um, started in March. So March 16th, 2017, I had zero followers. It is now June 29th, 2017, and I'm up to 1,465. So not bad. And I really thought that this was just normal until I started joining some Facebook groups and seeing other bloggers that have been blogging for six months, um, eight months, and they're still struggling with 300, 400 followers on Pinterest. And so obviously Pin Pinterest has really, really helped me out. And so um, I just want to review this for you guys. So if you look down here, you can see um, it gives you a quick setup of everything that Pin Pinterest has done for you. So it tells you exactly what it has done. So that's pretty cool. You can know that it's working for you. Um, tells you your days remaining on your account. And this little sidebar is such a great setup. So um, you click right on the dashboard. And I'm going to select these off so I can walk through how to set up everything for you guys. But this is how you're going to set up your account. So first thing that you want to do is you want to set up your tags. So these tags are basically how Pin Pinterest is going to um, surf the web, search through Pinterest, and follow people that like these tags. So when I very first started, um, as I said, my, uh, my blog is My Clever Wallet, and so it's about saving money and paying off debt. And every tag that I used previously because it was saving money, paying up debt, was related to money. And so at some point, I ran out of people to follow because all of my tags were so specific. Uh, I talked to tech support, and they gave me a little hint to keep it generic. So although my blog's primarily about saving money, paying off debt, other people that maybe are interested in other things would be interested in saving money. If you're planning a wedding, you definitely want to save money. If you're buying gifts, you want to save money. So I just kind of DIY, you want to save money. So um, I added just some generic tags so that way I can follow a bunch of different people that would be interested in my content. So that's just a, a big hint right here for your tags. Um, this stop button right here, once you start it, you really don't have to stop it because everything I do, let's say I add a new tag like um, handbags or something, uh, it's automatically updated. I don't need to stop it and restart it. So that's really nice. I'm just going to X out of that. Um, so then uh, if I want to go over here, so here are all the different things that Pin Pinterest will do for me, which is really cool. Uh, first thing that it'll do is it will auto pin. So if I select, okay, I want to start auto pinning. So basically what auto pinning is, is Pin Pinterest will find different pins, different pictures, content on Pinterest, and, um, and will pin it for you onto your boards. So such a huge time saver. If you really want to build your Pinterest account and you're following fast, you want to have some boards that people are actually interested in. Because if they're interested in your content and you pin on a regular basis, they're going to follow you. So for example, um, so I have a lot of these turned off because they're group boards. So if it's a group board, I, I'm, I turned it off because I want to make sure that I'm pinning specific content that is correct to that board. Um, I could turn it on if I want to, but here's a personal board of mine, DIY. So 
if I wanted to pin some things in here, so first thing it's going to do, it's going to ask me for tags. So remember, Pinterest is a giant search engine. So basically, it searches for pictures that have these tags associated with it. So DIY is one. Maybe I could add in crafts. Um, maybe I want to be specific and say uh, low budget um, low budget decor or maybe I want to add in low or budget DIY. So anything that is associated with these tags, these are kind of specific. Um, maybe I want to come up with with something else like um, uh, crafts for kids or anything like that. So what Pin Pinterest is going to do is it's going to search for these different um, these different pictures and that are associated with these tags on Pinterest, and then it will automatically pin those pictures to my boards on Pinterest. So that is just such a huge time saver. Now um, I can choose how many pins are pinned to this board per day. So the key to winning at Pinterest is to have a steady, um, a steady following. Because if you think about Pinterest, not everyone goes on every day. They go on when they're searching for something. Um, so, uh, so we want to have content added every day. So hopefully we can gain more followers that way. So I'm going to save my tags here. Okay. And that's set up. So you can go through and you can do that with all of your boards. Let's say I just added a new board. I could just click reload the boards and it will add all of my boards so it's all there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard, see what else there is. Okay. Here's my dashboard. Let's see if I want to schedule a pin. So this is so great because Pin Pinterest is kind of a one stop shop. If I wanted to, um, I just added a new blog post to my account and I created a pin for it and I want it to be um, added to Pinterest. I can do one of two things. I can just add in my website link right here or I can just add in the um, direct link to the pin on Pinterest. I hit next and it's going to take a second and it's going to find all of the pictures that are associated with that pin. So I'm going to click, this is about my article 15 alternatives to the cliche diamond. I'm going to click on that. So I'm, I want to write a description. Don't forget to do this because this is how Pinterest is going to be searching. Just like Pin Pinterest searches Pinterest for tags. So it pins information to your account. This is where they get it from. They get it from the description. So maybe we're going to put in here 15 um, gorgeous rings, um, gorgeous inexpensive rings. And maybe I want to add in, now it can just be filled with keywords. So I could just say inexpensive engagement rings that are far cheaper than diamonds. Okay, so I can just add that in there. Then I can select my frequency. Do I want it to be every day on the weekends? Choose my days. Um, so if I'm pinning this to maybe group boards, I'm probably going to do only once for now because uh, most of them don't want you to pin the same content further than more than once in a month. So here I have, this is so great, I can just go through and select all of the boards that I want to share this pin to, okay? And what's awesome about Pin Pinterest is you can schedule as many pins as you want. I know another site that I signed up for one time, it was, uh, you could, every pin counted. And so the more group boards you were associated with, the more pins you did, the, um, it, it, the more money it would cost. So this I can schedule as many pins as I want. So now I need to put in my time in there. So remember it is in GMT time. So you might have to, 
if you want it to be at a certain time of day, you might have to adjust for that. But I'm just going to put in there um, 6. Okay, so, whoops, I'm going to put it a little bit more correct. So I'm going to put in there um, 6 p. Well, maybe I'll just, it's 11.23 p.m. that time. I'm going to put in there, I want to schedule it in, let's just say, 45 or in 15-ish minutes. Okay, so the time I chose is in 21 minutes. You could also add in the date. I can do it a, a week from now. I could do it, if I'm going to be out of town, I could do it the next day. Whatever works, I hit save pin, and it's going to be loaded down here. So let's say I, had, I wanted to duplicate this pin because all of the same um, boards, it's already selected, I could hit duplicate the pin, and I could just change the URL right there, maybe do a different pin, so that way I can schedule a little bit faster. That's just uh, a little tip and trick I learned along the way. Okay, so that's how you schedule the pin. I'm going to go back to our dashboard. So here is our follow and unfollow feature. I absolutely love this about Pin Pinterest. So right here you can see now that I'm following and unfollowing, it gives me an advanced setting. So what Pin Pinterest will do is it will follow people on your behalf that are interested in your information. And then after three days, they will unfollow them. So it gives them, gives them some time to notice you follow them, maybe follow you back. Um, but if they don't follow you back, it'll just unfollow them. So you can keep moving on and building your account. Now, you could select unfollow only users that were followed by Pin Pinterest, or you can unfollow all users. I always have this selected because there might be some personal friends or maybe some, some bloggers that I really admire that I want to see their account or their information. Um, so I'm going to make sure that it only follows people that were followed by Pin Pinterest. Okay. Um, if I go down a little bit, I can see my speed control center down here. So it tells me how many pins are, are going to be scheduled per day. So um, maybe I only want 45. So I have that adjusted. You can go up or down. Either way is fine. I find 45 is a good number. Uh, likes limit per day. So I found once I started adding the likes and um, comment feature, that my follows back or people that followed me back really increased because if you are liking somebody else's content, they um, they're pretty excited and they might follow you back. Or if I'm commenting on people's information, they they might follow me back as well. So that's that's my limit there. Um, just a quick note on the follow and unfollow button. Um, so mine's set pretty high because I've been doing this for a while. But when I first started, this is really important information. For new pin, Pinterest accounts um, that weren't active much beforehand, so I wasn't, I had zero followers, I set my settings really, really low. And the reason why is if you set them too high, they'll put you in what's called Pinterest jail because they think you are using the follow feature um, inappropriately. Maybe you're just spamming everyone, you're following them, and they'll put you in timeout for about 24 hours. So. Pin Pinterest doesn't want your account to be suspended, so um, so they really encourage you to set those low. Uh, as you get more established, you might be able to increase that as well. Okay, um, so I go up here. So pin to the website. So what this is, so you can attach a sitemap URL. So if I add my personal website in here, so mycleverwallet.com. Pin Pinterest is going to search the website. So here's my, on my Pinterest account, I have a uh, My Clever Wallet featured content area. So, um, so this is it right here. So if I turn it on, it's going to ask me to pin my, um, uh, to pin my website. So I have it pinned right there. And, um, and then you can just hit save sitemap. And then what it will do is it will search your um, it will search your website 
and we'll, we'll look for any quality picture for it to pin. Now, personally, I don't use this feature too often because I am a control freak and like to um, be in control of what time my pins go out on Pinterest because I wanna make sure that uh, the most people are going to be on Pinterest to see my pins, okay? So I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my like feature, my comment feature. So again, these comments down here, um, comments, this is where Pin Pinterest will comment on a uh, somebody else's pin for me. So I kind of um, X'd out some of them that I thought didn't really sound like me and I added in a few more of my own that were kind of more of my voice. So I found when I enabled this comment feature, I really increased my followers. Go back up, okay. Um, then I have invite. This is such a great feature because what it does is it allows Pin Pinterest to invite people to your group boards. So if you've been on Pinterest long at all, um, or maybe you have no idea, there are things called group boards. Group boards are where several different bloggers can, um, or just people in general, can create a board where several people are collaborating on it. Everyone's pinning content. Greatest thing about a group board is that if you're starting off and you only have 50 followers, but you joined a group board that has 50,000 followers, suddenly more people are seeing the pins that you're adding. And then you, the next step is to create your own group boards. So if I'm creating my own group boards and I want people to join, um, I'm trying to grow my account, I wanna collaborate with people. Um, so then I am going to invite them to join me. If you're new and you're starting out, sometimes it takes a while to get people to join your group boards. So let me go and find one of my um, personal group, group boards. So here's mine, best blogs to follow group board. I know that one's mine. I turned it on and that means that Pin Pinterest is going to invite uh, the amount of people that I tell it to per day uh, to join my group board. So I can figure that, I can configure it Right below my dashboard, here's my speed control. So here we have our pins per day, likes per day, follows per day, comments per day, links to sitemap per day, and then it's invite limit per day. So if I'm inviting four people per day to a brand new uh, group board, I'm probably going to get, um, I'm going to be able to build it a lot faster. Because sometimes when you're new and you're starting out, um, people, not everyone accepts it. So this is such a great feature because you kind of start it, you forget it, and you set it. Okay. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see your pin Pinterest in action. So this is everything that pin Pinterest has done for me today. It's followed people. It's automatically pinned content to my budget group board. So great. I love it. Um, what else has it done? It's commented on a pin for me. Awesome. Pinned some more content. Really loved it. Followed more people. Pinned more in, um, content. Followed. There's a few unfollows in there. Some more comments. So throughout the day, it's like I have no life and Pin Pinterest is, is on Pinterest all the time for me and taking care of that. So all of these things are on here. It's really, really grown my account fast. And I just, I couldn't have done it without Pin Pinterest. So um, I could look at all of this information was still just from one day. So that's way more than I personally could accomplish myself. So that's a lot of following and unfollowing. So fantastic. Okay. Um, so uh, one other quick feature. So I showed you kind of the dashboard, and now as you can see, it, the sidebar grew as I added more, um, more features, I enabled them on my account. So it'll take me straight to auto pinning so I can change it right away. I can update my inviting right away. I can pin content from my website, and I can schedule pins manually here. 
And then anytime I add a new board, I can reload it here and it will do that. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're enjoying the new setup. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always comment below. Otherwise, have a fantastic day.